Guys, how's it going? I just thought I'd do a quick video for the week. Um, it isn't the video I wanted to do, but then that's because I'm still learning about editing and adding things in. So as soon as I've got to grounds with that, I will be putting that video on the channel. Um, that's going to be based around pop. So if you're a Funko Pop collector, then definitely um, come check that out and uh, you might learn something new from there or if you don't know what Funko Pops are still go and check it out because that's the idea of that video um, hopefully it will be uh, about middle of the week so um, some uh, people have asked where I get my QWERTY shirts from um, just out and about not actually on the channel so I thought I'd just let you guys know because you will see me in various uh, designs like this one um, and they come from QWERTY.com uh fantastic place i use them a lot definitely recommend checking them out because if you're a fan of anything they will have something on there that you will laugh at because they have got some fantastic designs so um today is going to be more like a weekly review thing that i will continue to do so the first of many um today's topics to cover are playstation showcase uh, Xbox with its uh, X Cloud. You've also got uh, Nintendo with some news and TV, and definitely not least anime. There is a lot of anime, and there's a little bit of news about pops. So hang around. Hopefully, you'll learn something new about something you love. If not, then I'm glad that you spent the time with me. <laughs> um, so with PlayStation Showcase started on Wednesday, they uh, did not hold anything back. Straight from the day of the first game, they showed us um, Final Fantasy 16. And the game is exclusive to the PS5. Um, so they didn't show much of the gameplay or anything. It was just a cutscene, but it did look pretty. It did look shiny. It looks interesting enough to be played. And it's a big move to say that it's exclusive because as this generation shows, there's a lot of games that don't stay exclusive. Uh, Gears Tactics on the PC as well as Xbox uh, when the Xbox Series X launches. Um, there are other games of the PlayStation side that have made their way onto PC as well. It's a great time to be a PC gamer if you're a PC gamer. <laughs> as for myself, uh, I stick to my consoles and uh, the word exclusive doesn't mean much for a lot of the times but this does look like it's sticking um since there was an article saying that it could be on the pc and sony since squashed that one saying if you want to play final fantasy 16 you've got to get yourself on the playstation 5 so as for myself i've always uh thought of final fantasy with sony anyway so I, if i'm gonna play a final fantasy game i'd look to them in the past it would have maybe even been nintendo in the early years um Moving on from that, they did swing in with Spider-Man, Miles Morales. They showed off some gameplay, some cutscenes, and some action. And I don't just mean a little bit. I mean there is over five minutes of you just draw on the floor. Um, it, it showed off a brilliant cutscene about a bridge collapsing and a new terrorist organization. It happens a year after the original one. So it definitely gives you enough base to jump straight in obviously miles has different powers than peter so it's interesting to see some of them in action um i would definitely go and check out the trailer if you haven't already um quickly swinging in from that they also announced that it would launch on the ps4 and ps5 on the launch day so it's exciting i'm happy to hear that because it means i can grab it for my ps4 if they do a snazzy collector's edition i'll probably grab it day one Moving on from that, they then moved into Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. Now, this game um, is just basically a way of jumping it forward onto the new generations of the Xbox One or Series X and the um, also the PlayStation 5. It did look like it had a lot of cosmetic upgrades and things like that to it. As far as gameplay, there wasn't much shown. Hopefully, if you're a fan of the series, you'll grab it. If not, then... It's a good opportunity to see it for the first time. This one's going to be digital only. Unfortunately, there hasn't been any mention of any physical release for that one. Um, then Capcom didn't hold back through showing Resident Evil uh, Village. So with that, they did say uh, it was once again less gameplay, more show and tell of what was coming. So, eh... The story looks interesting. I do want to know answers. I have got a big one like, why does Chris look like Luther from Umbrella Academy? And what is this with a werewolf that I don't know? 
But I'm sure there will be answers to be found. The important thing that I read up was that Capcom did say that this is not looking to be a sequel of the Resident Evil franchise, but more of a continuation and finishing of number seven story. So it's better to think of it in the regards of placed uh, of number seven, number eight tied together, and then number nine is an entirely fresh project. So maybe there'll be a hold. Maybe they'll go off the rail and stop doing numbered games and start being like the whole Resident Evil Vendetta as a series or uh, Code Veronica X. And yeah, they, they've done it in the past. They might do it again. Operation Raccoon City. Uh, but it was interesting to see a bit more on that game. Um, always been a Resident Evil fan. I'm glad that they've gone back to the roots of just jump scares rather than just here's a big gun, here's a mutated monsters, go boom boom. Um, Call of Duty was next up with the show and tell of the campaign. Now, I've not really followed the Black Ops campaign much. I know a lot of people were very annoyed with Black Ops 4 not getting a campaign. So this one looks to deliver definitely what they have missed out on on the other one. Um, multiplayer, if you have the PlayStation, is live from today. So you can play the Alpha um I'm sure people will be going nuts jumping on that. Um, that's exciting news to hear. Um... Hogwarts, that was also brought up. It was kind of random, unexpected, but aren't all wizards? Um, so if you want to be a wizard, go to Hogwarts. It's simple as that. And uh, this game is made by Warner Brothers, and it is uh, taking you into potion classes. There was footage of riding a griffin. You can go around the castle. The question I have for it is, how big is it? Where can I go, and what can I do? They didn't answer many of them. So it's something to look forward to. If done right, I believe it could really, really be something special because I want to be a seeker. I want to play some Quidditch. So if I can, it'll be great. But it all goes by how much in depth they want to show. They did not get into too many details, but it is definitely something to check out. Uh, as I mentioned, keep calling it Hogwarts was there was no mention of Harry Potter. So maybe you'll make a cameo appearance. Hmm. Maybe. Um, <laughs> moving on from that series, they then went on to Demon Souls. Now, I might have done these out of line, but these are just the games that, like I say, come to mind. Demon Souls is from the PS3. So, um, it, it does look nice. It's one of the earliest Souls series uh, games. And it's thanks to that that we have Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. And even though I've yet to play a Souls game, mainly because I hear how terrifying they are. And I'm sorry, but uh, I will put up the fence uh, at a game that gives you half of its primer guide in the case or at least was the case in dark siders 3 or dark souls 3 sorry um so it's interesting to see um there was a lot of extra footage and stuff that looked epic and it doesn't really look like a remake it looks like a brand new game so uh, i'd be excited to see what they do with the ps5 with the controller and everything like that so definitely pumped for that one big announcement was it did have a later release date well it's coming out at the start of the ps5 as well so it is news all around really is with this event they didn't hold nothing back um they then jumped on to announce the playstation plus collection now this is a fantastic opportunity for players that were loyal to xbox or if you had both and you didn't want to see your library be left behind well the plus collection brings forward a lot of the best games in playstation history as far as the four is concerned so you get the likes of persona 5 that uh, are brilliant uh you you've got days gone you've got fallout 4 you've got um bloodborne um, there are so many games. I will leave a comment down in the description of the full list and where you can uh, expect to get them. Um, from day one, they are available to download. So it's going to be great. I just think buying a console, getting PlayStation Plus, getting home. You've already got Astro Bot's Playroom on the console. So what else do you need? Like You're never going to have more games than now when you buy a system. doesn't matter whether you're on the Xbox with the Game Pass or the PlayStation with the Plus Collection. You will have a library of games at your fingertips ready to go. So that's exciting. Um, so from there, they also then announced at the end of it, is a little teaser into god of war now god of war um did leave it in a massive uh ish cliffhanger with the last one in 2018 so i'm excited to get my hands on this one and see where the story takes us um all it gives you is a symbol and it says ragnarok is coming 2021 so it is not too far away. So I just can't believe it's just next year. So hopefully they'll show us more as it comes. And it's just big, 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 big news. 
Um, from that, I'm just going to have a quick check to make sure I haven't missed anything this time round. Um, I did mention that there was uh, Fortnite. <sighs> that was something put in the middle there. That's coming forward with Unreal Engine. It got a brief comment there, but we won't go into details about Fortnite. Um, so from that, there were a few other games announced. Article-wise, they also announced the date and the price of the PlayStation 5 compared to the Xbox. So price-wise, they are almost level. The main console, which is the PS5, it, with that, with the disc tray, is 449, just like the Xbox Series X. Now, the one without a disc drive is 399. Now, it's 50 quid for a disc drive, but it depends on whether you're an all-digital fan. If you are, then fantastic. Uh, as I've just mentioned with the PlayStation Plus collection, I think that will go a strong way into making the all-digital version an option. Um, as for myself, I think uh, for the Xbox... Um, the all digital version is a less powerful console, so I think most people will hold out and buy the X. Um, but uh, with the Game Pass, they do have a strong element to having digital stuff. For me, collector's editions are always going to be a big focus, and with collector's editions comes discs. Apart from in the case of Ubisoft, which have removed their discs from uh, a lot of their collector's editions, like Assassin's Creed and Far Cry, and given you a digital code. But they still come with a seal book. Mm. So, just an empty steelbook. But who doesn't love a steelbook? <laughs> um, other games that have been announced uh, was uh, Katamari Reroll that's coming out for the Xbox, PlayStation, Switch and PC. So that's coming all over the place. That is out on November 20th. Um, they also mentioned at the end that Sackboy Adventure and Horizon Zero Dawn will be available on the PS4 as well. So I think it's a good move that Sony is supporting its old console, not just throwing it out like it's a discarded piece of trash. I, I personally love the PS4 and the games it's introduced me to are phenomenal. Um, the Xbox, on the other hand, is bringing its entire legacy with it wherever it goes. And that is is what brings me quite comfortably into the Xbox side of things. Um, so they launched the xCloud this week. It has got 100 and so, I want to say about 70-ish games. So it's got quite a huge library of games that can play on the go. All you need is a mobile, an internet connection that's decent, and a controller. Once you've got those features, you download the app, away you go. You can stream, play your games. And that is phenomenal. And I was impressed during the beta of how well they played. And uh, going forward, I'm sure they'll keep adding games to the lineup. The PC came out of its beta, so that is now fully launched on the PC if you're playing from there. And then on the Xbox itself, they've also got a large line uh lineup of games of library ones now some of the games on the pc are actually exclusive like they have got uh, gears tactics but that won't be the case come the launch on november 10th now the launch date um for the xbox was november 10th for playstation for america and a few other places was the 12th unfortunately for me in the uk it is the 19th um that's exciting to hear but um Unfortunately for Sony, there was a bit of a slip up. Retailers started uh, letting their pre-orders go after the show in some places. And then the following morning, other retailers let it rip. No one told the fans. And it resulted in a lot of people that wanted it, were prepped to pre-order it, were going to get on it, didn't get it. Now they're sold out. Places like Game are telling people that you can go into your local store and still pre-order, but a lot of places have met allocations. So maybe Sony will come forward before November and go, hey, here's a new batch or here's an increased number that we can get to you. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, Xbox did point laughs at this on Twitter by pointing out that they would not do that to their fans and that they have said that their pre-order schedule will launch on the 22nd of September, which is just uh, Tuesday. So we'll have to wait and see whether Sony will fix this mess or whether they'll just leave it and fans will come. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what the rush is to grab these game uh, consoles at launch with some cases. Amazon, unfortunately, if you've pre-order with them, have come forward and said do not expect it on their launch day. I've given up with Amazon and myself because every time i pre-order for something on the launch day they never deliver it on the bloody launch day um so xbox overall maybe the future is the game pass we'll see unfortunately they do seem to be spreading their wings and bringing their future and i love seeing that what they're doing for a lot of old games and bringing their legacy with them uh i love alan wake and i wish they'd hurry up and make an alan wake too um 
and it'd just be interesting to see where it's going. But while PlayStation's looking to the future and seeing what games it can harness, Play uh, Xbox seems to be looking at its past and bringing everything to its best quality possible. So, um, two different entire strategies, but as far as business is concerned, it might pay off. You don't know. Um, PlayStation's got a lot of accessories coming out with its console. Xbox, on the other hand, has got its new controller released. So, maybe Xbox will jump on with a headset. That'd be nice to see. Um, but... We'll, we'll wait and let them have their squabbling. Meanwhile, Nintendo's playing by itself, and that's just fine by Nintendo. Uh, today they launched the Mario Collection, um, which is the 3D games, which is Super Mario 64, Super Mario uh, Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, all three games were fantastic. I played them, and I loved them, and I absolutely adore Sunshine uh, for the GameCube. And it was probably one of the best and earliest games that I did get my hands on and really, really enjoyed. Um, kind of kicking myself for getting rid of my Switch now, but as it stands, um, that is what Nintendo sells best, is nostalgia and childhood memories. So... I'm sure they'll keep doing it to me and keep bringing out games that I remember and have fondness for. Um, but yeah, that is Nintendo in a bucket. Um, they've done something weird with it, though, where it launches today, but stops launching on March 21st uh, in 2021. So it, it's a weird release window. And after that date, apparently they're yanking it from the marketplace. The retail copies that are out will be the only ones that exist. And that's it. So if you're a fan of the game, I would recommend jumping on it. At least one of them. Grab them. Get them now before they take them away. A lot of people are skeptical whether Nintendo will do it. Well, they've done it in the past. But they've also done other things in the past. Like the NES Mini where they said they weren't doing any more of that. It went nuts. People paid a lot of them. And then six months later, they decided to do another batch of them. So we'll have to wait and see down the road but it is a weird, weird thing from them. Uh, in other related Nintendo news, they've stopped making 3DSs. Uh, Japan announced that after seven years of production, they have stopped making the last or latest version of the 3DS. So it's a shame to see it go, but then it has been about three years on or off since we've seen a new game for the whole DS series in general. There has been rumour that there is a game on the way, but I haven't seen anything from it. Uh, I love the handhelds. Um, maybe it's a good time for Nintendo to announce something fresh, something brand new, something that can be an accessory to the Switch, maybe. I don't know. I mean, the Switch is a handheld, technically, uh, but I don't know whether I'm comfortable walking around with a £300 uh, handheld device. <laughs> um... On to news and entertainment, as far as TV shows are concerned, Walking Dead comes to an end after 11 long seasons and a lot of uh, loss, sorrow and pain. Um, they've decided to end it, but they're ending it right with 23 episodes. I'm sure they'll do a story and do it justice. Um, they've also said not to worry because there are some spin-offs on the way. Now, whether they're referring to the Walking Dead movies um and another show that's new i don't know um but uh, i'm a massive fan of fear of the walking dead and i think that did really well for itself so i don't think that we'll tie uh down the zombies just yet because there's still more to come and while there is still a flame lit i'm sure gay uh, characters from other series will keep popping up in other shows because it just makes sense and good tv um, you, if you're a fan on Netflix, um, of a creepy stalker that, uh, comes obsessed with a woman, um, he is a bit, mm, cringy, but the show, it does have you on the edge of your seat at times. Season three has now started re-filming this autumn. So hopefully with that, it means that all things are well at Netflix and that they can get started on things like Witcher again, Stranger Things that I can't wait for, Ozark, just to name a few. But all for now, you is the big thing that they've announced this week. Um, so hopefully we look forward to that in 2021. Um, over to Pops, I'll drop on this quickly. Uh, they've got the upcoming New York Comic Con convention, um, where they release and announce a hell of a lot of Pops. Um, to name a few, they've got Bart Wolf Boy from the Simpsons Horror Comic Book Guy. You have, uh, various other, uh, franchises. Beetlejuice has got a new Pop. There has been, uh, various little Pop cans. Um, no Pop pins. I don't know whether anyone's a fan of pop pins, or, um, but I got my first one this week, and I couldn't avoid not getting uh, My Hero Academia, uh, because it's anime. Why would you not want anime? So, I got my first one. It looks cool. The box is a hell of a lot wider than I thought it would be. 
it does seem a bit bulky just for a, a fat pin and the pin is massive so once again it's something featured but they didn't really add anything to be announced there um but i will probably try and get a photo up if i can of these all these announced pops if you're a fan of that i will be doing a separate series and i'll probably try to incorporate that into a separate part so no one misses out on pop news um last but not least is anime 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 now with anime there comes a great news dragon ball z super has got its final season uh, done and dusted, and now it's time to own it. Um, they have announced a collector's edition that's coming out on um, the 2nd of November. It is £150 in the UK, and you can get it at places like Zavi, HMV, Amazon. There's quite a few retailers that are going to stock it. This collector's edition comes with a beautiful art book. Um, also it comes with a poster, various other things. Once again, if I can include a picture, I will. Um, unfortunately there is a lot coming out around the same time, so I don't think I can spring for it, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, love the series. It's one of the first I started off with, so I definitely recommend looking into it. If you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, even if you're not definitely look into Dragon Ball Z. Um, moving on from that, all the anime. That is the corner. All the anime is a fantastic uh, retailer that or online website that gets a hold of hell of lot of licenses for the UK to bring out and produce uh, some amazing shows. Um, if you're a fan of Violet Evergarden, for example, today they announced that they'll be doing the deluxe edition of that. So if you haven't seen it yet, get on Netflix. It tears your heart out and sews it back in very gently. Um... <laughs> The show is phenomenal. Um, this uh, series will combine the OVA as well as 13 episodes in a beautiful digipack box. Lots of art, art book. Uh, it's coming with five art cards, some other bits. It's amazing. Now, all the anime I also want to bring up has started doing vinyl soundtracks. I know it's days of old, but if you want to hear your anime in the best quality, you've got the vinyls. And they've done, um, just to name a few... Death Note, uh, Cowboy Bebop, Attack on Titans soundtrack for Season 1. They're also doing the soundtrack for My Hero Academia Heroes Rising. Like, it is phenomenal. They've got so much on the way. It is going to be amazing when they come. So I'll probably do unboxings. They are coming from November round till... Uh, well, from now till November, that's when the release window of some of this stuff is. So as soon as it comes in, I'll try and get you guys some videos up uh all videos on my instagram i've set up that by the way for the channel so if you could follow me over there that'd be great you might see some extra steel books and stuff that uh i might not do an unboxing of on here um uh what else is there to announce uh they've also then done uh other series that they've got on pre-order is the new sword art online alization i believe it's called um they've got their rights to bring that out they've also got the uh pre-order um for the gundam blood orphans has just gone live just trying to think of some other stuff that they've got coming um there is a lot to look forward to from this company i definitely recommend checking them out if you're in any way shape or form an anime fan get on there they get so much coming out and it's just amazing to follow um the other thing to announce uh from weathering with you is out second november uh that is another one that i have to say from all the anime um if you haven't seen your name it's done by the same people that do that film and that film is absolutely phenomenal it is one of the best anime films out there along with a silent voice uh and i strongly recommend that you check it out uh so this video is drudged on a little bit longer than i expected it to but hey ho that is that for you. Uh, hopefully you learned something new. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Share me around. Let me know uh, if there's anything that you want to see. Um, Unboxing-wise or anything you see around me. If you want a closer look. Um, I will be doing videos and whatnot later on. Um, and try and get through some of this backlog of stuff that I want to get going for the channel. Um, so I will give you a shout back next week. See you later, guys.